most of our modern day communications, we have a built-in copy editor, the spell checker. This handy little system lets us write with a bit more abandon, knowing our typos will be caught. And that spell check safety net is powered by algorithms. This is Algorithmics, the space where we explore how invisible, computer-controlled, database sets of rules are making decisions for us every day. From Gmail to Microsoft Word to online search queries, spell checkers are everywhere. And while they all work a bit differently, most follow a basic setup. First, the spell checker scans the text to identify individual words. Then, it compares each word against a list of words it knows are spelled correctly, like a dictionary. If a typed word isn't found in the system's dictionary, then the algorithm kicks in, generally trying to come up with the closest word or words to suggest a fix. The algorithm figures out the closest words by calculating the edit distance between the typo and the dictionary words. Edit distance one, for example, would be adding, subtracting, or substituting one letter, or switching the order of two adjacent letters. Add or remove two letters, and that's edit distance two, and so on. Consider what happens when typing T-E-H into Microsoft Word. The spell checker recommends a list of words, beginning with those that are edit distance one, the, ten, T, then edit distance two suggestions, them, and they. Many spell check programs go a step further. Microsoft Word makes grammatical suggestions. So if you type they're gonna be happy, T-H-E-I-R, you'll receive a recommendation to switch it to T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. Other spell checkers use a unique approach to the dictionary they're checking typos against. Google's search box suggests typo fixes based on a virtual dictionary of all the words other users type in their queries, a feature that also helps power Google's autocomplete function. Like any automated system, spell check isn't perfect. Still, that wavy red line has saved many a typist from making an embarrassing mistake, proving that the best copy editor might just be the algorithm. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.